And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to five reviews of very different games. Um, these games, well, they're just so very different and I couldn't think of any good way to clump them together. So all shapes and sizes, just some short overviews of these games. Here we go. First we have Echoes the Cocktail. And in fact, you can see us playing this one live during one of our spectaculars. Echoes the Cocktail. I would give this actually a 4 out of 10, unfortunately. It's an audio mystery game in which you are listening. You scan these QR codes and you listen to stuff. And then you kind of put them in order. Here's a couple problems. And maybe a different Echoes would be more interesting, perhaps. But th the storyline isn't very interesting. It's not compelling at all. You're not really playing any kind of game. I don't even feel like I'm along for an experiment. Experience. It, it feels like it's an experiment of listening to sound with QR codes. I feel like there's something that could be used in this regard, but Echoes just didn't really do it for me to the point where this is the only Echoes I played. I don't know that I want to play anymore. Then we have Murder on the Cosmic Express. Murder on the Cosmic Express is a micro social deduction game. A very simple game in which you're, someone's the captain and you have to examine the evidence and figure out who the murderer is. So it's a typical game like that, but it's very quick. There's a bunch of trading of cards in the middle and you're trying to figure out who has the murder weapon and because the rules are not necessarily set, um, about the murder and all that stuff. I mean, they're, they're, well, they're set, but you're trying to get the right weapons and things in your hand. There's some interesting things. It's really fast. It's just a few cards, and I like it. I'd give this one a 7 out of 10, just a small little uh, social deduction style game. Then we have a much bigger game here, Cuphead Fast Rolling Dice Game. There's another one you saw us play live. I would give this one a 6 out of 10. There's a lot of aspects of this that I like. I like the Cuphead theme. I like rolling dice really fast. I, um, I like the artwork in this game. The concept of working together is fun. The way the levels change is interesting. I own Cuphead, the video game. I got it for the Switch. I played it often with my son, and I finally have basically rage quits a strong word, but quit because it's just too hard. Guess what? This emulates that. I guess that's good. I don't want to play a game where I'm playing this on the e easiest level and still get destroyed. I'm not interested in that. What's the fun in that for me? So I understand the game. It's good. I wish it was easier. I wish there was something about it. But if you like Cuphead, hey, this is the game for you. Then, you know, speaking of games based on video games, we have Animal Crossing Monopoly. This is just trash. Two out of ten. I mean, ugh. I really dislike this game because stuff like this is out there. I mean, I just reviewed a Mario Monopoly, which was fine. Or Mario Life, I'm sorry. That was fine. This game here is terrible. It has terrible components. You just roll dice, move around the board, and pick up tokens. The tokens are worth random amounts of money. And it's, ah, oh, everything about this is trash. I'm not even talking about it. All right. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels. So this is for people who like Shovel Knight. Um, the idea of this game is interesting because it has a scrolling board. It has some interesting uh, different characters. I actually played this not knowing anything about Shovel Knight. I went and got the game Shovel Knight, which feels very, very Mega Man-ish. But anyway, in this, you have the scrolling board. You're all taking different Shovel Knights, going through, using special abilities, attacking each other. It's fine. There's this constant, you know, boom, you knock someone else off the board, they got to come back on again. It's, it's so fast, it's very lucky, and it's, it's okay. It's a 6 out of 10. There's some aspects of this that I like, but I don't know that I would keep it. It feels like a real, this game feels way bigger than it has any necessity of being. It just would need a few standees, a scrolling board, and I think it would have been fine. All these miniatures and everything, and the miniatures don't even look that different. The enemies, they do a few different things, but they kind of move around, and now having played the video game, this doesn't particularly feel like that. It has the side scrolling coming in, that's okay. I just didn't find it to be, again, particularly interesting. The rules aren't very good. All in all, this is what I would call an okay game, but not one that I would get. So there you go. Five games, five different ones. 
Some of them are okay. Well, actually, I think the only one I really said I liked was the murder one, but the rest of them are what you make of them. So, check them out. Let me know what you think in the comments, except that Monopoly Animal Crossing, that's trash. I'll burn it in just a second. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.